gentlemen welcome to my youtube channel my name is david kennedy and as usual we bring you incredible stories incredible chat welcome when you're watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like and also activate the notification button at your left side my name is david kennedy and this is jd live uh, the government said, uh, through its spokesperson, Saira Sobuna, said that the government has no money to fund this initiative for the youth. In short, it has no money to pay the youth who have been working for that initiative. Now, uh, the funny bit about it is that the government has money to champion for the amendment bill that is Constitutional Amendment Bill 2020-2021 as the Building Bridges Initiative. Approximately the Building Bridges Initiative is taking around uh, 14 billion Kenyan shillings. According to me, that's a very, very big, critical thing that, they, that politicians want. And now, since let's say that the government is Uhuru Kenyatta and is government and Precisely, we can see that through the handshake that Raila Odinga is in the government. The government has an extra budget to fund for BBI. I wonder, why does the government allocate this money to pay for these youth who are working, who are making our streets very clean, who are making who are draining away our sewage systems in town. It's so, uh, like, we don't understand. Well, currently the leaders are championing for the BDI, the Building Bridges Initiative. The Building Bridges, Bridges Initiative has some good, good agendas to the citizens. We don't, uh, we don't uh, refuse that. We, we accept that. But again, in different purpose of reasons, uh, the government spokesperson Cyrus Oguna said that the government has no money to fund the youth. But the question is, do you expect these youth to fund, to vote in the BBI, whether that you are taking jobs away from them? Um, I, I don't understand specifically myself. Well, it's upon you you are watching this video, so tell me your view about the Kenyan government uh, and uh, this initiative, the BBA initiative, which we're expecting it to be voted in since many people are supporting it. Again, politics, 2022 politics and the BBA initiative have brought the differences between the Tanga Tanga, the dynasty, the deep state, and the Aslan nation. It's upon Kenyans now to make their choice. But I, I also advise Kenyans to make the right choice. Let us discuss about this matter. Next video is coming where you are going to give me views about the BBI. Have you read the BBI? And if you have read, what are the best things and the best, what are the provisions that the BBI gives that can benefit to the Kenyan, normal Kenyans, Mwanainji, that are good? Yes, they say that around, they say that uh, that 5% will be added to the counties. That's a very good thing. That counties, development in counties will be enhanced. But again, you see it that more than half a million youths who are working for Kazim Tahani initiative that the government started are just losing their focus just like that. You don't understand. I wish the government would take even one billion 
we support these youths for the next seven months is, and they give us they give the youth a warning so that these people may start looking for jobs if someone was depending on this amount of money that was being gotten from Kazim Tan initiative then we get prepared to get some other money from other sources to pay his rent or to pay any other thing or to pay his bills so the 2022 general election elections are coming and that the political heat is starting to rise so what are your views as Kenyans? As the nation is here, Tanga Tanga is here, that dynasty or the deep nation is here as they call it. So, who is the endorsement? Next topic will be who is the endorsement of the systems? You know very well in politics there are systems and yeah, the system that endorses the leader. So, who do you think is being endorsed by by the systems? Well, we are Kenyans, we believe. This is David Kennedy. Bye.